We've had guinea fowl here on our homestead for quite some time. We did first get chickens and then we added our guinea fowl to them. And today I'm going to talk about 10 things to consider if you're thinking of raising both chicken and guinea fowls together. And the first one to think about is the space that you actually are giving them. So you want to make sure that you are allowing them to have enough space to roam. Now chickens we know are already going to need a pretty good size for their coop and a run, but guinea fowl definitely love to forage and roam even more. So you want to take that into consideration when planning out exactly what you're going to be adding to your backyard, your homestead, your farm, whatever you're planning on doing and how you're planning on housing them. It's also important to think about the noises that guinea fowl make. They are usually quite loud a lot more often than say a rooster would even make. So also think about that as you're thinking about maybe neighbors in the area because they can be quite loud and disturbing to those that may live near them. Now here at our homestead, we do allow all of our chickens and our guinea fowl to free range around in the area. And guinea fowls absolutely love this. They love to forage for little insects, tigs, worms, grubs, anything. They really, really love that. And most of their diet is actually going to be consisting of all those little insects and weeds and seeds that are around your property. So allowing guinea hens and guinea fowl in general to forage is going to be really important. So if you are able to have a free range space, make sure that you're giving them enough space that they can actually take advantage of it. Now, if you love guinea fowl and you want to keep on learning about them, we are actually doing a full month of content around guinea fowl. So definitely subscribe if you are not already a part of the homesteading family here and I'll also link down below some of those other guinea fowl content in case you're looking to kind of learn what is the best breed what do you feed guinea fowl and so much more the next thing to think about is actually making sure that you have compatibility within your flock now definitely guinea fowl are going to have a different pecking order than chickens they definitely just react a little bit differently, social situations. So I definitely suggest if you're able to get them all at the same time and let them grow up together, that's going to be the ideal scenario. Here at our homestead, we did not have that. We already had a pre-existing flock of chickens and we actually added baby guinea fowl to them. I definitely do not suggest adding adult guinea fowl to your flock, but adding them as babies. This way, the chickens still were much larger than the guinea fowl when they were younger, and now they actually, the guinea fowl protect the chickens, similar to as a rooster would protect its flock. We've had a lot of guinea fowl go out and chase, <laughs> chase out predators away and alert the entire flock of both guinea fowl and chickens that predators are coming and they're a very protective breed over their flock. So I love that we have that here at our homestead and that's something that works out really well for us. The next thing to think about is their feed. Now, guinea fowl and chickens are going to have a little bit of a different diet. This is because guinea fowl are more of a gamey type bird, so they do require a lot more protein in their diet. I talk more about this in a different video that we did earlier this month. So I will link that down below of what exactly to be feeding your guinea fowl. Once they did get of adult age, we decided to just give them all just a layer feed that we use for our chickens, which we really love. And this just made it easier for us because we do free range all of our flock here. They do get most of their nutrients and supplemental foods from all around us, picking out little buggies, seeds, insects, all different things. So that's actually where majority of the guinea fowl diet is going to come from. And then we also always make sure that we're providing a lot of fresh water for everyone. So make sure you have a really big watering system, especially as you get into colder months, hotter days, you really want to have that warm, that water source. When you are thinking about your coop that you're going to be having your flock live within, one thing that you do want to keep in mind is the roosting posts. Guinea fowls love to roost on high up trees or high locations for their safety. This is bred into them. So you want to make sure that in your chicken coop where you are keeping your flock or in your flock coop, I guess, because it's not just going to be chickens, you do have really nice high roosting bars for them and you're allowing enough roosting space for everyone on there. We do actually trim our guinea fowl wings. This is mostly just to keep them contained in our area. We have a very safe area where there aren't too many predators and we have fencing around it. So they're really safe here. 
And if you do decide to do that, then it can't jump as high or fly as high. So keep that in mind. Now let's talk about the eggs. Guinea fowl are going to be laying their eggs more seasonally than chickens. So they are usually going to be laying a lot less eggs. We're going to do a whole video on the difference between all of these eggs, but primarily guinea fowl are going to lay a nice brown egg, usually a lighter brown egg. And you're going to know that it's a guinea fowl because it does look a lot different. And they're usually going to lay them in much different areas than the chickens. Guinea fowls love to have one area that they lay all of their eggs in for a flock. And there's actually going to be one mama guinea hen that's going to guard that area. So most of the time we do find that our guinea fowl eggs are actually on the floor or hidden in a little area, whereas all the chickens are putting them in their nesting boxes. But you do want to make sure that you have nesting boxes available should they want to lay in there and just enough nesting boxes for all of your birds just so that they do have a space to actually lay their eggs. Otherwise, you might find, especially if you're free ranging your birds, that eggs are going to be all over your property hidden and it's going to be like an Easter egg hunt in order to find them. You can most definitely eat guinea fowl eggs. We eat them the same way that we eat our chicken eggs. They just have a different type of nutrients to them, but they honestly taste pretty similar when we're making just scrambled eggs with them, but we are going to do a really good taste test on this coming up. While we're talking about eggs, a fun fact about guinea hens and chickens is they actually can breed together and you can get a mixed breed between them. So if you don't actually want this, then you want to make sure that you are wary of this. We try to make sure that we have mostly females at our homestead because we will end up purchasing our chicks or guineas at whatever time we want. And we just don't have roosters here because we haven't had much luck with them and our guinea fowl are so protective that they will watch over our hens. But something to keep in mind, if you do want to have a clean breed, you might want to think about that because they can mix them. And the last thing to think about here is actually the health of your chickens and guinea fowls. We have not had any problems with either our hens or our guinea fowl, knock on wood, <laughs> but everything's been really good. Everyone's been really safe here. Guinea hens are usually a lot more hardier birds, so there isn't too much you have to worry about. And then your chickens are going to have most of the normal things that you would really worry about, but having them together isn't going to cause any issues. We've had a lot of great success raising them together, and it's really helped eliminate our tick population, or not eliminate, but just lower it a lot. And the guinea hens have been so protective of our chickens that we've had a really happy, good flock. We love raising them together. And if you do too, comment down below. I'd love to hear if you do this as well, or if you're thinking about it. And we'll see you guys again next time. Bye.